All right, coming back once again. Hope everybody's still doing well. I'm coming a little different in this video because I'm talking about Facebook. And as you see the title up there, face your problems. Don't Facebook your problems. And you know, Facebook is like one of the look like well-known websites right now. And how many people are on there spending so much time on there telling all their business. And I spoke a little bit about this a long time ago, but this will be like a part two video. And I want to call it Face Your Problems. Don't Facebook your problems. Somebody asked me, do I have a Facebook page? Yes. But you know what my Facebook page looks like? Just like this YouTube page. You ain't going to catch me on Facebook playing around, trying to see who all I can sleep with. My page is all about God's business. And if you think I'm lying, click on there and see what's on my page. You're going to see the same videos on her on Facebook. And I say this because I spoke about this a while back about uh, this girl that got killed behind Facebook. Got into it with somebody else. They wind up meeting somewhere else and somebody got shot. Dead. Story over. End story. And when you start putting all your business out, so you got people on there telling everything they do every five seconds look like. We about to go out of town. I'm going to see this person. You just you might what you might as well just tell folks, come break in my house. And then you face you, you want to Facebook all your problems to people who can't do nothing about it. Don't you know can't nobody do nothing about your problems? Don't you know God is the only answer? And people spend more time on there. Let me say this again, like I said in the other video. You got most so-called Christians spending all their time on Facebook, and they won't spend no time in this word of God. And I know I just made the whole Facebook mad with that. Who cares? You know what I always tell people? The truth hurts. A lot of people don't want to hear the truth. That's why my page is positive. Just like her. You're going to see this video on there. You're going to see the last three I did on there. I try to reach out to people. See, there come a time in your life where it's time out for playing games. Facebook is almost like the number one cause of divorce now. You got people on there running to folks they ain't seen in years, and all they do is start conversating. You already messed up, I, you know, just said a little bit. Then you start getting curious. And then there comes that most famous question, what are you doing tonight? Next thing you know, somebody that cheated on their wife, somebody that cheated on their husband. Next thing you know, somebody that got killed behind Facebook once again. You have to be careful what you're doing. And I mean this out of love, people. I know people probably don't want to hear no video like this. Well, you trying to tell me what to do. Now I'm telling you to be careful. Somebody had already been killed behind it. Stop letting folks know all your business and your every move. Because you don't know who's sitting up doing what. You don't know who's watching those comments when you're telling folks every minute where you at. Oh, I'm going to L.A. now. We'll be gone tonight at 6.30. I see this all the time on there, and I just shake my head, man. I said it's amazing. People just letting all their business out. It's hard enough trying to do right people don't make no sense to engage in all this other stuff face your own problems and stop facebooking your problems facebook can't do nothing to save you facebook ain't died on no cross for your sins i don't have nothing against facebook because i'm on there you see it's just like the internet period i try my best to use the internet for positive things you got porn and all kind of stuff, negative stuff on the internet. That's outweighing all the good stuff. If I put a video up right now with some porn on it, you know they joking I have a million views before I close my eyes tonight. But when I put up this video on the word of God, maybe five views. But once again, I'm not concerned about views. Y'all know me by now. I don't care if I got 10 or 1. To God be the glory. Maybe that 1 got help. It ain't about me, people. It's a song Bishop Noel Jones got out called It's Not About Us because it's about Jesus. It's not about you. It's not about me. 
And Facebook is causing a whole lot of trouble. I can say the same about YouTube. You got a lot of people on YouTube beefing. See, I got a lot of enemies on here, but I don't spend no time on them. I mess them up in their mind, and I still say, God bless you. Y'all know how I am with my haters. I use my haters as elevators. I had a comment earlier, man, you still on that nonsense talking about the word of God? I sure am. And if you're looking at this video, yes, I'm still here, and I got a lot of more things to do for the kingdom. You ever hear many man say it's all about kingdom building? Kingdom building. Ain't nobody trying to help build a kingdom all the nine day. That's what I love about this website. You know what my favorite church is? God's church. Notice I didn't say no building. I said God's church. I love the body of Christ that's that's on her. I love how PP drawings make up the body. I rock make up the body. K Ray, Papa JT, little little brother Orange Flavor, Hot and Clip. Uh, how we all make up the body of Christ. And we come on her and we have church. And the, you know what the most important thing I love about it? Ain't nobody on her begging for your money. We talking about salvation. We talking about repentance. We talking about things happening in this life right now before our own eyes. We talking about getting right. Sad thing is why the churches ain't talking about that. That's why on my page, you'll see me talk about anything from sex on down. I don't care. Man, if some of these teenagers could get off of these churches, these churches would teach them the right way on a lot of stuff, I believe it will be different. Even though we all know we have all made our mistakes, but sometimes people can say certain things and it can stop you from messing up. See, this is why I'm walking around here with no baby mama drama. I don't have that. I don't have that ignorant stuff around me. All this mess. I love my life. And if you are a child of God, you should strive to do better. I ain't got nobody cussing me out, calling me. Talking about what my money. And I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it to say I'm better than nobody. I'm saying when you know better, you do better. See, you ain't going to catch JT horn around. I thank God I'm living, I'm breathing. I might be single, but oh well, I'm happy. Old saying on color purple, when, 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 when she say I may be poor, I may be black. She said, I might even be ugly. But she said, thank God I'm here. Thank God I'm here. And I'm going to tell you right now, people. Thank God that you are here. I was just talking about in the old video how that lady was murdered, man, coming from choir rehearsal. It is a big time blessing, y'all, when we wake up in the morning. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I just shed a tear that I'm still in the land of the living. When I think about somebody didn't wake up, I don't know about y'all, but I get phone calls every week. Another funeral. Like I told this pastor the other day, one day somebody going to be playing at my funeral. And I said, we don't think about stuff like leaving her. We too busy caught up on this life. So many, so many people say they love God, they don't even want to. Hear nothing about the new kingdom. And let me let me rephrase what I said about leaving her because the new kingdom is set up right here on earth. The new heaven, the new earth. I mean, the new heaven on this earth right here, which is described in Revelation so beautiful. I don't know about y'all, that's where I want to be. I don't want my name not in the Lamb Book of Life. I don't want to be cast in the lake of fire. I don't want to be a part of that second death. Oh, no. When you spend time focusing on everything else but God, you done lost focus and you in trouble. Be careful, people. When you're on this Facebook letting out your business out. I, I mean, I, I can just cut I cut on my my stuff sometime and just see on certain people's pages, man, how they just done. They done told they they home girl all their business or they home boy all their business and the whole world can see it. The whole world can see Facebook. The whole world can see YouTube. This ain't just Dallas, Texas. Many men in Georgia. People all over the world see these things. And you are on her 
Some people telling their whole relationship, I'm mad at my man. What, 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 what the whole world need to know for? I ain't speaking to him. Some, some of them on there bragging about, oh, I'm finna get divorced. I'm ready for my new man. We hitting the club tonight at 12 p.m. I'm coming to get you. Man, people going, that's why people steady getting their house broken too, man. And all this steady and robbing. They giving people an invitation to just say, come on in. Got to be careful with this Facebook stuff, man. Be very careful. B, what's the word I'm looking for? Other than don't have everybody up in your business. Keep a low profile. Let me say it like that. That's why a lot of people wonder about me. What do you be doing? Why you don't? You ain't like, see, I ain't like everybody. <laughs> I'm not. I don't have to do what everybody else is doing. I don't been by myself long enough to know myself. I have studied myself. Sometimes I'm so tired of myself, I need another room to go in and get away from myself. I talk to myself and myself will say, huh, ain't you tired of you yet? See, people, somebody will catch that. Why? Because your biggest problem is yourself. How many of y'all ever tried to get away from yourself? That might be too high over somebody's head. I always tell everybody I need another room to get away from myself. Leave that part of me in there. Be careful. People are dying behind Facebook. Be careful. Quit putting your business all out in the open. And you wonder why somebody done snatched your man or somebody done snatched your woman. Well, you don't let all your business out. Some of these women, just like men, do, they sticking close with you women just to get your man. They waiting on you to slip. And some of them ain't even waiting on you to slip. They trying to get it right in your face. Some of these men calling themselves homeboys, hanging around just to get at their partner girl. I'm going to leave on that note. Be careful what you do.